all across the earth there's a fresh move of God that is being proclaimed the move of God is called the apostolic reformation whenever there is a move of God many things begin to be determined within the body of Christ development of doctrine begins to be determined there becomes new way there's a new way in which people begin to see and hear the Word of God there are new systems of revelational emphasis things which were not emphasized or did not come to light in former moves of God now suddenly spring to light before us and energize our faith and we begin to understand the things that God thinks are very important and the things that God puts major emphasis on and these things build the culture of our spirit build the shape of our communities and build the structure of our faith whenever there's a new move of God church structures and organizational structures are redefined whenever there's a new move of God it extends our ability to complete divine purpose we gain more strength more authority more partnership more access into the mind of God we have more authority in a sense we can go further into the purposes of God than we have ever gone before a new move of God creates greater understanding increases our partnership with God and creates a fuller expression of our identity as the people of God in the earth a new move of God opens a fresh panorama of the will of God God's will becomes our motivating factor in our hearts and a move of God transforms our human development and our expression in our mortal life upon the earth it's almost as if the extent of our humanity or the boundaries of our manhood begin to be extended to new parameters and to new levels in Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3, the prophet has sight into the shapes of the days we are living in and described two realities flowing simultaneously, light and darkness. He says, Arise, shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick darkness is over the people. But the Lord rises upon you and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. The light of God is shining within his church as God moves in unprecedented ways among his people. While darkness continues to increase all around us, terrorism, natural disasters, financial crisis, political upheavals, scandals, global climate change, population growth, and global moral decay continue to increase. Faced with these realities, the nation are in a state of despair and many world leaders cannot find lasting solutions. In the midst of this darkness, God wants a church that will arise and provide light to the earth. God expects his end time church to provide solutions and embrace its responsibility walking in his ordained plan for his end time church. Have you read the Old Testament? Have you seen what Gideon did? Did you see what Samson did? Did you see what David did? God planned something better for the church. There's something out there. There's some plan out there that God has ordained for the end time church that's mightier than we could even imagine or comprehend. Amen. I see flickers of it in my spirit. It's greater than anything ever been preached before. The authority he wants to give to the church on the earth to establish his kingdom and his power is mightier than anything we ever comprehended. There's a mighty church that's rising up. It's more glorious than acts. It's powerful beyond belief. We are the people that will sit with Christ in his throne and reign over his entire universe. We will judge the angels. We will execute his vengeance upon the nations, us, the church. In the fourth chapter of the letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Ephesians, he said, till we all come to the unity of faith and to the knowledge of the Son of God and to the perfect man and to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. This will be made possible through the human vessels that are carriers of his divine grace. And so it says, he gave some to be apostles, prophets, 
evangelists, pastors, and teachers to the church. These are the conduits through which the nature of Christ will flow to the saints in the earth, bringing them to a place of maturity and bringing the full expression of Christ to the fallen systems of the world. That same one who ascended higher than all the heavens is he who gave some to be a prophet, apostles, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to prepare you for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. So I want us to hear <clears throat> his desires for the body of Christ as coming from that ascended place. That if you traveled with Jesus and sat with him in that place of ultimate ascension, what's on his mind? What is in his thoughts? He's giving these heavenly resources from an exalted position so God's people can prepare for works of service to build up the body of Christ, to build up the body of Christ until we all, all reach unity in the faith. Until we all come to the knowledge of the Son of God. Until we become mature. And that's what he's after. Final maturity. This is a picture of final maturity and this is a sight from the elevation of God. Let's pick out the, the, the different things that God defined as the components of maturity from his point of view. Number one, uh, God perceived oneness of the entire body of Christ. So if you were having a conversation with God, and you would say, God, what is your concept of maturity? He would say, well, first of all, there has to be a oneness of the entire body of Christ. A time has now come for leaders in the body of Christ to take up their rightful place and in collaboration with one another fulfill the mandate of God. We are looking to God, not to ourselves. We are doing it by faith, not by calculation. We are engaging responsibility, not passivity. It is clear biblical truth that God expects the entire church to be in a state of active preparedness in the midst of the extreme crisis of the day. Congress WBN is a faith-based global entity made up of many people from different cultures and races from over 95 nations and has drawn numerous lessons from journeying together for over two decades. It has now initiated the process of bringing together leaders from around the nations to begin engaging and working together not only to fulfill the word of God to build a mature church but also to provide light in the midst of darkness in the earth. This has always been the desire and the prayer in the heart of the Congress leadership. This is the day, God, Amen. that our hearts have longed for. This is the day that we hope for. Amen. This is what we desire. This is what we lifted up our eyes to see. This is what our father saw. This is what Abraham saw. Refusing to build a house, living in tents, looking for a city whose builder and maker is God. This is what the prophets saw standing upon mountains and gazing into the future. This is what Jeremiah saw as he wept his way into the revelation of things of God. This is what Zechariah saw as he questioned you and pressed his way into knowledge. This is what Malachi saw as he prophesied at the closure of an age. His voice like thunder leaping across the divides and igniting John the Baptist. This is what the Baptist saw when he commanded the power of the kingdom coming into the earth. It anchored itself in Christ and this is what he saw when he hung on the cross. He looked out and he saw the glory and the beauty and the power of the body of Christ. Thank you Father for bringing us to this day. Dr. Noel Hudroff, founder of Congress WBN, invites you to come gain new understanding of the move of God currently sweeping the earth. Come re-energize your sense of calling at a unique seminar entitled engaging the body of Christ. We are in a day when God is speaking to his global church. At the same time the earth is gripped by unprecedented challenges, social, economic, political, ethical and leadership crises are shaking organizations, countries and entire regions. Many are searching for solutions and crying out for answers. Now more than ever there's an urgent need to build strong church communities with leadership capable of powerfully advancing 
the purposes of God and strengthening the body of Christ. This seminar will present practical, biblical solutions to the issues of our day. Come, be edified and equipped to develop strong leaders and effective church communities. It is time for a new release of energy and grace from God in every dimension of life, personal, family and church. It is time for the light of God to arise and shine. God's focus is on bringing the leaders within the body of Christ in South Africa to build together. This seminar is an opportunity to hear and partake of a fresh word that will activate pastors to stand in a new place of sight and a new place of functionality in executing God's purpose for His church. Come, let us engage together.